At least seven refugees have been killed in a renewal of violence involving different communities living in Kalkoma refugee camp on 3rd November 2014. A clash between rival ethnic groups from South Sudan have now spread to include refugees from Burundi and the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. Achayo Rebecca and Dina Makambi, the residents of the camp, plead for peace between the refugees. They further ask their fellow refugees not to take revenge. My advice is that uh, we know it's all bad what happened, but it has happened. We have to stop revenging and begin a new life. Because all of us are here because of the same situation that happened in our, back in our country. And we wish to adopt the, the, the peaceful coexistence of this country. Kenya is a very peaceful country. That's why all of us, since we arrived here, we had no problem with the, the host community. And I think that is the spirit we should inherit. What I would want to tell um, the community members of uh, Kakuma refugee camp is that we need to stay united. We need to live together in peace. For united we stand, divided we fall. We have a responsibility as members of the community to protect ourselves, to protect each other within the various communities. It does not matter which ethnicity or which uh, country you, come, you came from. It doesn't matter who you are. The, the, the bottom line right now is you're in uh, Kakuma refugee camp. And a member, as a member of the camp, you have a responsibility to protect each other and to keep each other safe. Guy Doopur and Maker Mayen stressed their points that South Sudanese should stop bringing war from South Sudan to the refugee camp because they cannot be refugees within the refugee camp as many people were displaced in the area. We all run away from violence. And there is no reason for us to create another violence within the camp. If we create another violence here, where will you run? How can a refugee be a refugee who is in the same camp? We ask all, all the people who are contributed in this violence to refrain from this violence. My message is to the two community, the Dinka. I would like to inform my Dinka brothers and sisters that we should not glorify war. War is nothing to be glorified. My friends, the Nuer, war is not the option. Peace is the option. Because I know very well, if we let peace be our chill, we can win. If we let peace be our way, we can reach to our destination. I ask the two communities to try to come together and work as brothers and sisters and try to go back to their communities and relay with the people who stay with them so that back home it will be reflected that there are people who have gone and they have come back with a good thing. You are the unifying factor back home. The camp manager, Bernard Ali Kapuri, said the government of Kenya will not tolerate the conflict between the refugees who fled their countries to seek for safety. That we need to live peacefully. Uh, for the refugees, most of them ran from their countries because they had no security there. And the government of Kenya offered them a place to settle so that they can have peace and security in this country. Of late, there have been incidences of insecurity in the camp, but the government has stepped in to ensure that peace prevails. Uh, I'd like to stress that people cannot run away from their own countries, come into this country, get everything that they need, and still continue to cause insecurity. That, as a government, we will not tolerate. And we ask the authorities and the law executors in the camp to neutralize themselves so that they keep peace among the diversity in this camp.
they have to be neutral. They have to let the law take its measures. They have to execute the law according to this country supreme law. They should not take the law in their hand. They should not execute on one side or partially. Impartiality is important. The camp manager also warned the refugees that they will use the law for the refugees who don't comply with the Kenyan laws. You must remember as a refugee or any other person that you must comply with the laws of Kenya once you come here. Once you come here, if you break the law, the law will deal with you seriously. So please let us all live together peacefully so that we can be able to help each other, we can be able to advance economically, because without peace, nothing is possible. The Kakuma camp currently hosts over 124,000 people who have fled conflicts and violence in neighboring countries. The majority of the refugees are from South Sudan, Sudan and Somalia. The camp is also a host to refugees from Ethiopia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi, Rwanda, Eritrea and Uganda. For the Niles, I am Simon Bingo in Kakuma Refugee Camp, Turkana County, Northern Kenya.